Welcome back to the Foundation Homestead and our barn building project. The plumbing's been roughed in and now it's time to get ready for the footings. Stewardship is everything. We're using trench footings on this project. You'll notice a string line that gives us something to follow to ensure that our footings end up being fairly straight. We've installed a pointer on the front of our blade. It makes it a little more accurate following that string. Following the string takes a lot of concentration and the wind blowing doesn't really help that much. We're trying to make our footings about 36 inches deep places we got deeper than that and the reason I know is because I hit my water line and it's at four feet. After we trenched our footings, we formed it in about 8 inches above grade. We kind of skipped that process because the trucks already showed up, but you'll be able to see what I mean here in just a little bit. We used 2x8s to form in the top of our footing. You'll notice here are kickers, some people call them standoffs. That enables us to put our pins further back so our trench doesn't cave in. And free range chickens, you gotta love them, especially when you're pouring concrete. Here you might notice that the form board is slightly above grade. We'll fill that in with dirt as we make our way along to keep concrete from flowing out underneath the forms. You'll notice on the end of the chute, this apparatus, it's called a sock or a trimming, and that enables us to better direct the concrete into our narrow form. Notice my coat? It's been a nice jacket, but I don't recommend it for welding.
Cattle don't really appreciate air brakes or reverser alarms. But it's just too interesting to stay away. The forms have been stripped off. Now it's time to backfill around our stem wall. You'll notice the pink foam along the edge. That's a thermal break between our floor and our footing. We appreciate you joining us on Foundation Homestead as we build our new barn. We'd appreciate you hitting that like button if you've enjoyed this video and come back as the next step is pouring the floor. God bless.